Hello YouTube, it's Supernova, back with more Falcon 4 BMS. Today we're looking at the Helmet Mounted Queuing System, or HMCS. The Helmet Mounted Queuing System is an electro-optical device which serves as an extension of the hood, displaying weapon, sensor and flight information in front of the pilot's right eye. When coupled with a high-angle off-bore sight air-to-air missile, the HMCS provides an enhanced first look, first shoot, first kill advantage in the within visual range air-to-air -air arena. To power on the HMCS and adjust the symbology intensity, turn the symbology knob clockwise. To adjust brightness setting, use the brightness control switch on the HUD remote panel. For the day setting, the brightness for the HMCS will be set to a range from no visual perception to full intensity. For the night setting, the brightness ranges from no visual perception to 120th for full intensity. And for the auto setting, the HMCS will use its own automatic brightness control or ABC sensor to try to maintain a pilot selected potentiometer setting. The ABC adjusts the brightness of the symbology depending on the ambient light intensity. The range of the auto setting is 1 100th of full intensity to full intensity. If the ABC sensor fails, and the brightness switch is set to auto, the HMCS will default to the day setting. Two data entry display or DED pages, HMCS display and HMCS align support the HMCS subsystem. The HMCS display page controls HUD blanking, cockpit blanking and the declutter options. To view the HMCS pages, Press the list button or F4. Press M cell and then press the recall or RCL ICP button. The HMCS and HUD share many symbols and these tend to conflict visually when looking towards the HUD through the HMCS. HUD blanking is a display declutter feature that removes all HMCS symbols in air-to-air or air-to-ground mode when the HMCS line of sight bore cross is inside the HUD instantaneous field of view. The HUD blanking feature is controlled by placing the asterisks around HUD blank with the data control switch or DCS and pressing M cell on the ICP. When mode selected, HUD blank highlights and remains highlighted until deselected and the asterisks auto step to cockpit blanking. The cockpit blanking feature is a selectable display declutter feature that removes all HMCS symbols except the missile diamond, aiming cross, ACM bore symbol and TD box from the display when the HMCS line of sight is below the cockpit canopy rails. The HMCS aiming cross, target locator line and TD box will still be displayed. Cockpit blanking is controlled by placing the asterisks around cockpit blank and pressing M cell. When mode selected, cockpit blank highlights and remains highlighted until deselected, and the asterisks auto step to the declutter field. There are three declutter levels. To step through the levels, Position the asterisks around declutter and depress any numeric key from 1 to 9. Level 1 is the lowest declutter state and declutters nothing. Level 2 declutters altitude, range to steer point and heading scale. while level 3 declutters altitude, range to steer point, heading scale, airspeed, normal acceleration and arm status. The HMCS Align page controls the course and fine align bore sighting functions. Fine alignment comprises the azimuth, elevation and roll submodes. To access the HMCS Align page, 
Press the DCS to sequence or SEQ. Note that the alignment options are not currently implemented and the HMCS is correctly aligned by default. To return to the Communication, Navigation, Identification or CNI page, press DCS left or the left arrow key. The Display Management switch or DMS enables and disables the HMCS display. Holding DMS down which is control N by default, will toggle the HMCS between displaying and not displaying symbology. This feature is independent of the hood or cockpit blanking states. When the symbology is being blanked, the system behaves as if a helmet is not in the avionics system and returns to baseline ACM operation and baseline missile bore operation. The same conditions and requirements that apply for displaying data and symbols on the hood also apply to the HMCS. Changing the bore slave line of sight option on the SMS page for either the AIM-9 or AIM-120 changes the option for both missile types. Radar cursor enable accessed with the insert key can also be used to change to the opposite state for as long as the switch is held. When the switch is released missile line of sight returns to the original state. When in missile override or dogfight modes HMCS will indicate SRMS or MRMS for slave, SRMV or MRMV for visual bow, and SRMA or MRMA for auto mode. The HUD will indicate the type and quantity of missile. If the missile is in bow line of sight, it is slave to the HMCS aiming cross. The missile diamond will be displayed at the centre of the HMCS up to 28 degrees from bore sight. Beyond that it moves to the edge of the HMCS display and an X over the diamond indicates it is outside the seek head's gimbal limits. When the FCR is sensor of interest, the ACM bore submode selected and TMS up held down, the radar is slaved to the HMCS aiming cross in a non-radiating state and the FCR bore ellipse is displayed on the HMCS at FCR line of sight. When TMS up is released, the radar is commanded to radiate and it automatically attempts to acquire a target at that position. Yeah. If HMCS line of sight exceeds the radar gimbal limits, the FCR ACM bore ellipse will remain displayed at the FCR line of sight limit until the ellipse reaches the edge of the display, at which point an X will be displayed over the symbol. If the FCR loses a track target acquired through slaving of the ACM bore ellipse to the HMCS line of sight, the FCR continues to operate in the ACM bore submode in the radiating state. However, if the target was initially tracked by another FCR mode before ACM bore submode was invoked, the FCR will use the ACM 30x20 submode with the radar radiating. The FCR is slaved to the HMCS line of sight until one of the following conditions is met. The radar requires a target. The radar leaves the ACM bore mode, HMCS line of sight is no longer valid, TMS down is pressed, TMS right is pressed with the targeting pod or TGP tracking an air-to-air -air target, or the HMCS or radar are no longer active. When the FCR is slaved to the HMCS aiming cross line of sight and TMS down is pressed, the FCR switches to the ACM bore submode with the radar in a non-radiating state, and the FCR antenna is positioned at 0 degrees azimuth and plus 60 degrees elevation. I hope you enjoyed this look at the HMCS. 
feel free to like, comment and subscribe and I hope to see you again for the next Falcon 4 BMS video.